Open up your mind, open your eyes, look around. There's so much to see. There's activities. There's stuff to do. The only way you can be bored is to be boring. Port St. Lucie is a big little city. Port St. Lucie functions like a family. Everyone is connected, everyone knows each other. The sense of peace, the sense of safety, I think that's why it has the character that it does. It's a beautiful, green, vibrant city, but at its heart, it's always remained the beautiful little town that I moved to in 1987. Right after I moved here in 1987, the New York Mets Stadium opened. And that seemed to kind of open the envelope for all the other explosive growth that we saw after that. You started seeing Port St. Lucie cast in a whole new light on a national and state stage. We were the fastest growing city in the entire country for several years, either the top or the second spot. And then, as we all know, the recession, 2007, 2008 hit. When the crash happened, you couldn't give the land away, whether it was raw land or even developed lots, because there wasn't a market for them. When the building fell flat, I think it forced everybody in Port St. Lucie, government officials obviously included, to kind of step back from all that explosive growth and say, okay, where are we now? What do we need to do? during this, these lean years to ensure that when we do start growing again, it's smart growth. In the 50s, most families had one automobile. So the community was designed for that. Today, you don't have anybody over the age of 16 that doesn't drive and have an automobile. So you've got lots more traffic that's on the roadways that originally weren't intended to be. The Crosstown Project is the long-awaited third bridge over the St. Lucie River. The Crosstown Bridge is going to bring so many opportunities. It's going to relieve congestion. It's going to add safety. It's going to help people with their travel time. It's an east-west connection, and they'll be able to utilize the city center We've seen a lot of growth. And there's hospitals and, and businesses have grown in the area. It was just about three years ago that we opened Tradition Medical Center with the assistance of the city of Port St. Lucie and other local government officials. We are now in the process of doubling the size of this hospital. All of this land was all orange grove and cow pasture, but it was part of a vision that we had to continue to grow Port St. Lucie, working with Port St. Lucie. I would challenge anyone to find anything like this from all the way up to Maine. We are the only one climate reserve in America. We are so different because we are completely integrated in the local community. We are part of Port Saint Lucie. We could live anywhere in the world if we needed to and still support the business, but we choose to live here in Port Saint Lucie. It just has everything right here without all the congestion of Orlando or Miami. What the community depends on a lot is small businesses like me and like those people across the street there. People that make businesses and employ people on the local level. Well, our guys are the best here. They really are. They come from all over the country. But we also have guys who were born in this area. They're taking on the, the new generation. In the future, I would like to see Port St. Lucie maintain its small town charm. We've mastered the things that make this a wonderful city. Maybe a wow project is in our future. This is such a small town atmosphere. It has developed so it's mind-boggling. I could never ever foresee what this city has become. <laughs>